Hey y'all, this is Natasha. So, y'all know I'm always trying to improve my health and, um, you know, eat healthy and things that are good for the body. So this season, I am trying, I've, I guess I could say that I've conquered my oatmeal challenge. Oatmeal still doesn't taste good, but I can eat it. Let's just put it up. Yeah, I can eat it now. So, my next one I want to try to tackle is yogurt. This, oh, this is some nasty stuff. Yogurt. So, hold on, let me show you. Okay, so y'all know I'm into bodybuilding, right? And I like my little muscles. So, uh, protein is key when you're trying to get a little muscle, a little definition, a little tone, a little thing like that. So, a great um, bedtime snack, if you want to call it a bedtime meal, is cottage cheese, which I ain't even about to try to tackle that one yet. I got to get through this yogurt thing first. Or you can do yogurt. Or you can do um, egg whites, like boiled eggs, just the egg white part. But I don't want to overdo the egg whites because I'm already eating egg whites on top of egg whites on top of egg whites. So now it's time to try yogurt. So I have this one that has fruit on the bottom. And I have, but this is just low fat yogurt. And when it comes to the protein, this one only has six grams of protein, which I'm not really, you know, I had to eat two of these. And I don't like yogurt, so eating two of these really ain't going to do me no good. But it's about this flavor thing. Then that's, uh, yep, yeah, that one does have a uh, good little bit of sugar. Then there's this one. Then there's this Greek yogurt from Wegmans. And it's peach flavored, and it has 13 grams of protein. So that's a good one, right? And then we got another low-fat one, and it only has 8 grams of protein. We put that one over there. And then I got the one that I showed y'all in the beginning. It came with its own little fruit package. And y'all know I really don't like my fruit all mushy and nasty either. I prefer my fruit fresh and crunchy. But, um... This mushy stuff, uh, whatever, you know. I'm trying something new. And then I got this other Greek yogurt. This other Wegmans Greek yogurt is strawberry. So, uh, I already know that the Greek yogurt is going to be a challenge for me because I hear that it's thick and nasty. Whereas these regular yogurts, they kind of watery and nasty. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, which one I said had the most protein? This one got 13. This one got 13. And the one that I originally had had 11. So, I'm not going to fool with that one for right now. I'm going to go with this uh, strawberry. Let's go with the strawberry yogurt. Greek yogurt. Not just yogurt. It's Greek yogurt. Okay, it's got like a little... Like a little juice on it, I'm gonna pull that off. <laughs> All right, so I'm pull that off. And I'm gonna stir it up some because yogurt should be stirred, I, I guess. Yeah, but it's yogurt. Oh, but I do have another option, too. You're supposed to stir it. I am. I'm stirring it a lot. Buy some fat-free, sugar-free Jello, pudding, and put it in the plain Greek yogurt. Hmm. I'm going to try that. Yeah, I'm going to try that. Pudding and put it in the yogurt, and that's going to make... I do have some, I have some fat, I got some um, sugar-free jello, but not the pudding, dang. <laughs> okay, I'm stirring, I'm stirring. By plain yogurt, add a spoonful. <laughs> got this honey right here. Got 
Got that honey right there. Yeah, because I'm I, I got a feeling this ain't gonna go down. That was just like eating a, a chunk of chalk, a chunk of cold, wet chalk. So, I'm going to put this honey in here and see if this make it any better. Y'all have my, ooh. Okay, not try, try not to be greedy with the honey. Okay, let's try this. But, ooh. You know, trying to do this new, new, and just doing things. Because that's the thing. I'm trying to do. Yes, it is disgusting. I am trying to do things that are good for my body. Yes. Hey, Rico. <laughs> this tastes like chalk. Like, chunky, wet chalk. It's just, it wasn't right. All right, well, I put some honey in here, so let me see what this like. I put in, you know, it's raw honey oh you know how you get the chills before you eat something nasty that first bite don't gave me the chills so I'm trying now mm. the honey helped the honey helped a lot now it's just the thought of it I know it's good for me, Wilma. <laughs> okay, so I guess the honey did help a lot. So now I just gotta try to finish it. I mean, the honey helped. The honey didn't make it like super extra, go on, eat it up. Like, mm -mm, the honey just helped. <laughs> It just helped. So, what I'm gonna have to do in this situation, I'm trying to get this big spoon because I don't feel like getting up to get a new spoon. So I'm trying to scrape off all this honey on here. So, what I'm gonna do is this. You know how when you really don't want something, you try to see how fast you can eat it? So that's how it's going to have to go down. I'm going to have to see how fast I can eat it. So, each night, my bedtime meal, you can call it a meal, you can call it a snack, whatever you want to say. It's going to be yogurt. I can do better with the fresh fruit. Yeah, ain't got no fresh fruit. Or do we? No, Renisha got some watermelon in there. I know that ain't gonna taste good. Wet watermelon inside of yogurt? No. And then she got some grapes in there. No, that ain't gonna taste good. Uh, my mind ain't gonna let me do that one. Strawberries sound good. A little crunchy strawberry, but the way this nasty, chalky stuff is, I've been mean, gonna choke myself trying to swallow the strawberries, so I, I think I better... I better stay right here. Stay right here. Uh huh. Let me finish. I'm, I'm gonna eat this. Y'all can time me. Mm -hmm. At least you can't get choked off for a drink and you know eating it all whole like that. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. See, the Lord's going to bless me for eating this mess. This is going to bless me with long life. Oh, it's all tight. It's all tight. Where's your water? Oh, Pray if I stop and drink water. <laughs> 
Mm-mm. I just got to finish this because if I drink water, I'm going to have to pause and drink the water. And then I'm going to have to... Women, this is not good. Okay. You love yogurt? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to put some jello pudding. Oh, jello pudding mix? Mm. Now I ain't got no jello pudding mix. But I'm most definitely gonna have to buy some. Cause uh, this nasty. And I got four more jars, one for each night. Well, these over here. I think I'm going to have to release these to Renisha because it ain't no way in the world I'm going to eat two of these at night time. No, 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 no. Mm. Girl, my friend Tasha getting ready to eat her yogurt. But she going to put some pudding inside of her to make her better. She said, you fat, free, sugar, free pudding. I ain't got no pudding. I got some sugar-free jello. <clears throat> I think I got about one more spoonful. But I can't eat. You can't eat jello? And I eat that jello. Ooh, that jello is like prep food savior. Because like when you're in prep and you can't eat nothing and you about to eat, you want to eat that something, that jello, that sugar-free jello, it ain't got nothing, no calories, no nothing. I don't know what it is, but uh. It sure make your life feel good. Girl, go to the gym and get it in. You are so good. See, you can ready to go to the gym, and I'm eating this nasty yogurt, getting ready to go to bed. Okay, y'all got about... Okay, let's see. See, this how much more I got left. Y'all see that? Let me take this out. Two scoops. Let me make it two scoops. Where were you funny? Talk about say I love yoga. Mm -mm. I ain't got that yet. Y'all know something else I do? I told y'all I started doing the nasty stuff I started doing. That, uh, you remember I told y'all about the apple cider vinegar drink where you do the water, the warm water, the apple cider vinegar with the cayenne pepper and. What what else we was putting in there? Cinnamon, and you can add a little honey if you want to. Uh, I don't even do that no more. I'm now I'm straight thugging on my apple cider vinegar. Like my apple cider vinegar now, I just pour it in a shot glass, take it to the head, then I drink some water behind that mess, cause that mess burns from all the way down. Look at that. Yeah, I do that every morning now. Yeah. I'm trying to take care of this body. I'll be 45 next year. Yes. <laughs> Pray, how you know about my bedtime alone? <laughs> yeah, I do have a bedtime alone. Because sometimes you be enjoying yourself a little bit. And then you be like, I can stay up. And then that 3 o'clock roll, that 3.30 roll around, you be like, oh, I should have took my tail to bed. But tomorrow I am teleworking, so. Oh, you you can do the apple cider vinegar? That's because you drink. I think people, I don't know, because Rob, he be struggling a little bit too. But I think if you don't drink, well, that apple cider vinegar strong. It's potent. Boy, it takes, like, it is nasty. But make sure you do one, do a shot. I do a shot glass of apple cider vinegar. I think they say you're supposed to do like a tablespoon food, but I just do a whole shot glass in the morning, uh, right after I wake up. So, I do that, and then I drink a bottle of water, and that's kind of how I get that first bottle of water in for the day, too. Then I go downstairs, and I do my 20 minutes, or, or I work out, depending on the type of day I'm having. If I'm going into the office, I just go downstairs and do... 20 minutes walking on treadmill but if i'm at home teleworking then i do that 
Then I eat breakfast. I gotta eat something because them workouts be rough. All right. I'm almost done with this here yogurt. I'm done. That was not good. But it's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> Y'all don't have that look. After thing when you eat something nasty, it just make your whole head tingle and you look, like, ooh, nasty. But yeah, so. That was my first time ever getting through a whole container of Greek. <laughs> Forget the word Greek. A, a yoga period. It tastes so nasty. I usually just do one spoonful and be like, done, nasty, don't want no more. But <clears throat> <clears throat> that's just nasty. That ain't even right. So I did have this Greek yogurt. So this is the perfect bedtime snack, bedtime meal. It's got uh, 13 grams of protein. Doesn't have no fat. It's kind of low carb. Because, you know, for the diabetics, when they count their carbs, you know, anything that's 15 grams or more, that's only one unit of insulin for most insulin for most people or like half a unit for some. But it's really low carbs and the sugar isn't too bad either. It only has 15 grams of sugar. <sighs> that wasn't good. I just want to put that out there. It don't taste good, but it's very good for you. <clears throat> And for you ladies, it's good for your cooch and all your juices down there. You know, like when you get an infection and all that stuff. The yogurt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is it? What is it that's in yogurt that's really good for the cooch? The probiotics. The that that this word right here. <clears throat> I'm gonna show y'all which word I'm talking about. Let me see. This one right here. That one right there. Can y'all see that? That word. I ain't gonna try to see it. Yeah. But that's that right there. <clears throat> that good for you. Uh -huh. But that's it. I had said I was gonna challenge myself and start eating this yogurt. And I did. So, yay me. Alright. Deuces, y'all.